It'll function as a liaison between those uh, people in uh, Harris County who are looking for an alternate to their present county chairman, uh, a uh, liaison and communication to the state and national party. Are you going to be moving some of the old committee members from the present committee onto the new committee? No, there's no intention of moving the old committee members anywhere. They will continue to perform their statutory duties as before. You're going to have a complete new committee then, right? From top to bottom. Well, no. Uh, that's not the intention either. Uh, we will form a committee. It hadn't been determined of the size uh, in Harris County, which will provide this liaison, which I think uh, responsible Republicans there will want. There is a report going around now that Albert Fay uh, is one of the persons being considered for a job in the Nixon administration. That's correct. An ambassadorship has been mentioned. Uh, can you confirm or deny that, sir? I know he's under consideration. I can't uh, say uh, exactly what for. Mr. O'Donnell, there's also been a report that if Albert Fay resigns as national committeeman that you might be interested in taking that job as national committeeman from the state of Texas. Uh, there's, uh, he hadn't resigned, and so the situation is hypothetical. It just, that's an iffy deal. Right. If, but if, if he would resign, would you be interested in being the national committeeman from, from the state of Texas, sir? I think you just have to take that, that situation when it develops. Well, I learned to, to summarize it, uh, one of three things. That one is that we need a juvenile detention center in Terrence County. Uh, two, that uh, we probably shouldn't build them as big as they build them in California. They'd have problems with it. They're getting too institutionalized rather than program-wise for children. And uh, three, I'm more than ever firmly convinced that rather than a 225 or, or a $2,250,000 uh, detention center, uh, we can build one for between four and five hundred thousand dollars that will serve this community for a good long time and adequately. Why do you feel that you need a smaller one rather than the large size? Well, the, in California particularly, they're going to the institutionally, institutionalizing, if that's the word for it, mm -hmm. uh, uh, programming for, for children. And I personally feel, and many of their executives out there felt that much as we're doing here in Tarrant County, the programs should be developed within the community. Uh, we have to teach these children to live in their environment, and not to live in an institution. And uh, if you have one, they're going to use it. Now, you say program uh, is part of the major portion of what has to be done next. Do you feel that we have the people and the money available now to Lynn Ross and his staff to do that, or are you going to have to come up with some more money? No, we have, we have the people, and, and they're uh, an intelligent group of young people. Oh, I think I think we can. The one thing, the one real nice thing about a, a detention center that we found in in California was that once you have one, you can utilize the services of volunteer workers, mm -hmm. and they did a great job with it out there. It was it's a rather depressing thing to uh, to go through one detention center after another and see children uh, detained because they're delinquent. Uh, as a father of a, of a boy seven and one nine. Uh, it, it, it's a heartbreaking thing, and uh, I was particularly set back by a sign in one judge's office as we left, and it said, be a parent, not a buddy, and uh, it kind of struck home, and we all as parents could probably just reevaluate our program and relationships with our children.